A mystery is afoot. Why on earth did Creative Business Unit 3 decide to attach the newest Relic Quest line to Hildebrand? While we may not be able to answer that question just yet, we can tell you the answers you need to prepare for the upcoming challenge. Make sure to subscribe and comment below your thoughts on this Meme Relic Quest series, and I will follow up with a discussion video from the community. In Live Letter 71, Part 1 of the Patch 6.2 coverage, Yoshi P announced that the newest weapon, Enhancement Questline, would be attached to the Hildebrand series. You may be asking yourself, why would they attach a relic to optional content? Well, the answer to that is simple. There is no optional content. It's just a matter of time before you are forced to go back and do it. In all honesty, I believe that it's due to the fact that the Hildebrand questline is a series that is more expensive to create due to the extensive development process for expressions, sound effects, and cinematic style cutscenes. It's true the quests have a fun, lighthearted vibe to them, but it's tragic to let players avoid it for so long and then force it down their throats. So if you don't raid, just like getting cool looking weapons, or you're an achievement hunter like me, here's the down and dirty. There are a total of 38 Hildebrand quests broken out over a Realm Reborn, Heaven's Ward, and then in Stormblood, level 50, 60, and 70 respectively. A Realm Reborn had the most densely packed Hildebrand content, with 21 quests, including three eight-player trials. You would receive a Manderville Dance emote, Manderville Glam, Most Gentlemanly emote, and a Wind-Up Gentleman minion. The section of quests begins with the Rise and Fall of Gentlemen. You can get this quest from Wymond in Ulda at the Steps of Nald, X 9.8, Y 8.7. Heaven's Ward contained a total of 8 quests for the further Hildebrand adventures, where you can obtain a GG minion as a quest completion reward. This section of quests begins with a gentleman falls rather than flies. Nashu Makaraka at the Pillars, X 5.9, Y 9.9 .9 will give you this quest. Stormblood contained a total of 9 quests, including the Kagane Ahashi Trial for the even further Hildebrand Adventures, where you can obtain the Manderville Mambo Emo. This section of quests begins with a Hingen tale, Nashu Goes East, given by a conspicuously inconspicuous man at Kugane X 10.6 Y 9.8. There were no Hildebrand quests in the Shadowbringers patch cycle, but he returned in patch 6.5 when it released, starting with the level 90 quest The Sleeping Gentleman, just south of the 8th Rite Crystal in Razet Han. There were a total of two quests added so far for Endwalker, leaving the total Hildebrand quest count at 40. All of the previous Hildebrand quests can be completed in about 4 hours if you go through skipping cutscenes. If you're someone who's going to watch the cutscenes and enjoy the content, it's going to take you a far bit longer. Future quests will be added in patch 6.25 along the new weapon enhancement relic quest line. Stay tuned to the channel for more updates, and remember to like, share, and subscribe if you like this type of content. As always, thanks for watching.